So, yun na nga guys. Nandito na naman tayo para mag-fill up ng ating tax information sa YouTube. So, ayun nga. First things first, we need to open our Google AdSense account. And then, sa upper side ng site ng Google AdSense, makikita nyo yung Manage Tax Info, Learn More and Dismiss. Ito yung fill upan mo para makapag-submit tayo ng tax information. So, ako nga is kakamonetize ko nga lang. So, I will fill up my <clears throat> tax information sa YouTube. So, ayun nga, i-click natin tong manage tax info. So, andayin lang natin kasi naglo-loading at sobrang bilis ng internet ng Pilipinas. So, dito tayo. Submit a tax form as soon as possible. So, para mas aware kayo sa mga pinag-fill up nyo dyan, pinag-check nyo dyan, make sure na i-read nyo ng mabuti yung nilalaman ng ano, ng mga information para alam nyo rin. Para hindi kayo maguluhan. Hindi kayo yung basta-basta na lang ng click dyan. Eh, yun pala, yung mali na pala, magsisisi kayo sa huli. So, next, your tax relationship with Google is based on the tax information you submit and information in your prof payments profile. So, lagyan na lang, lag lagyan natin ng uh, add tax info tayo. So, before you start, plan on taking 15 to 20 minutes to keep your account secure. We'll need to verify it's you. After one hour, we we may need you to verify again and the information you already entered won't be saved. Use the correct payments profile for the payee. Providing tax information to Google, the tax form will need to be signed by the payee or someone authorized to sign as the payee's representative or agent. You may be asked to provide additional tax documents after completing the form. Google can't advise you on tax matters. For help with your tax situation, consult your tax advisor. So, start tax form. So, kailangan natin i-enter yung information natin, password, para i-verify ni AdSense kung tayo ba talaga to. So, I'll just input my password. So, ayun na nga. What type of account is Jackie Liz Bahen? So, ako po yun. To find the right tax form, please answer a few questions first. The RIS or the U.S. Tax Authority requires the tax info be reported in letters, A to Z or numbers for accented characters. Use the letter only such as N for N or A for A. So, Kasi nga, individual lang tayo. Individual lang ang ilalagay ko dito. And then, click next. Are you a citizen or resident of the United States? Kung nakatira ka ba sa United States? Of course, no. So, click natin yung no and then next. Select WA tax form type. W8BN, this form is most commonly used by non-U.S. individuals and would also be used to claim tax treaty benefits. So, since hindi tayo nakatira sa U.S., so itong W-8-B-E-N ang ipipilian natin na form. So, just click start W-8-B-E-N form. <clears throat> so, antay lang natin. Nag-loading naman. So, input your informations. DBA, doing business as name or just disregard that one kasi optional lang naman. Country or region of citizenship. So, uh, saan nga ba? Pilipinas, of course. Manapin lang natin yung si Philippines. Ayun.
taxpayer identification number so optional lang naman so next lang natin to Make sure to read the ano ha, the informations para hindi kayo magkamali talaga. Ako binabasa ko talaga para alam ko talaga kung ano yung ilalagay ko. Yung hindi lang basta-basta maglalagay ng information ba. Tapos in the end magsisisi ka, iiyak ka kasi mali pala yung nilagay mo. Permanent residence address is a PO box or in care of address. You will be required to submit additional documentation. Yan na nga, meron siya dito. Uy. Ano ba? Meron na yun kami na ah. sa board So, mailing address. Mailing address is same as permanent residence address. Group for Pisa and San Francisco. Agusan Rosso. So, lagay lang natin. Yes, kasi same lang naman talaga. So, click natin next. Philippines and the U.S. have a tax treaty. Treaty. Are you claiming a reduced weight of withholding under a tax treaty? U.S. tax law may impose a 30% withholding tax on payments that are considered with U.S. source income. So, dito tayo, resident of the country or region claiming treaty with the, with the U.S. Check natin yan. Philippines. Kasi may treaty naman talaga ang Philippines tsaka U.S. Eh. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you may be exempt or have taxes withheld at a reduced rate or on certain income types with uh, earned within the U.S. These reduced rates and exemptions vary among countries and specific income types. Select all that apply to you. You can claim any future income type that you may plan to earn from Google products. Check natin yan. Article. So, ayan. Zero percent. Bakit gayon? As a tax res resident reason, Jaculus meets the terms of the treaty article. As a tax resident of the country region identified in the tax identity section, the individual identified in the tax identity section meets required of the treaty, doesn't have a permanent establishment in the U.S. and doesn't perform independent personal services in the U.S. from a fixed base in the U.S. So, yeah, click natin yan. Click lang natin yung mga box na yan. So, next we have Article 13 and Paragraph A2A. So, 15%. Dito tayo. So, 15%. Note sa 30, 30 rate. 
my treaty right. These on Jahilis meets the terms of the as a tax resident of the country identify Churbane, so check that in your box. Other corporate royalties such as play and YouTube partner program. So this one. 15% ulit reduced treaty rate. Check ulit natin to. So a foreign TIN or US TIN is required to claim tax treaty bene benefits. Benefits. Please add a foreign TIN or step one tax identity. Oh, sure. Just click next. Bakit ayaw? So, ayun na nga.
U.S. activities and services are the performance of a service in the U.S. This can include having employees in the U.S. or No. That was approved. Mm -hmm. 